Hello, sweet souls. Are you ready for the big reveal? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> I've gone back to being brunette. So, um, I know a lot of you know since I started the channel, I have always been blonde. I've been blonde for like the last 12 years, but my hair was seriously damaged from all the bleach and things like that, that I decided to go back down a brunette vibe. So, here I am as a brunette. Um, and I hope that you guys have had a really, really good week. So, what we're going to do today is what are their early morning thoughts about you, which is quite an intense energy and I'm quite excited to see what is going on. So just a couple of public service announcements, as we can call it, before we get going on this, um, other than the fact that I turned brunette, um, gone back to brunette, podcast. Um, so on this channel, I release a weed, a, re a weed in? I don't do weeding. I do weeding in the garden on occasions. Uh, I do a reading probably every Wednesday, Thursday, and every Monday you can find the podcast which does your your weekly reading, and that is just at Mystical, like Mystic, but Mystical Moonday Musing. So if you go and find uh, it on, you can find it on YouTube. You can find it on all the podcast sites. You will get a free reading for the week of a general reading to do with your astrology and tarot for the week. So I've teamed up with my bud and um, buddy Josie. Um, and we're linking together to give you that free weekly reading so if you do want to check that out please go and head over to at mystical mean day musings to get the your free reading for the week so you will have one reading on mystic love tarot and one reading on mystical moon days now i just have to say this because someone asked me said how come you're not posting so much every week now i know a lot of you've been tapped in tuned in turned onto this channel for many years now um most of you know that I did have a baby and I ended up now I have a toddler so my priorities have kind of changed a little bit that I can do a bit for the channel I can do stuff for the podcast and then I'm doing all your private readings which are at the moment same day return on voice notes so if you do want your answer today you can give me a shout um but it just means that my priorities have changed a little bit because I have a toddler running around so I'm not posting as much at the moment um but when it goes to school don't panic I'll be back full force um so yeah just bear with me but like i said there are two readings out there's one on this channel and there's one on mystical moon days so yeah i'll what i'll do is i'll link it in the description so you can in the comments you can just go and find it um okay whatever what else do i need to tell you readings i have space for video readings i have space for and voice note readings on instagram and facebook are just same day return so if you want your answer today just give me a shout just go on the direct message drop me a message over there and i will come back to you today okay let's get going so you and your person the person that you are thinking about early morning thoughts for you so deck number one and deck number two go to the deck that you are most drawn to this is the housewives tarot and this is beautiful tarot of the tales deck. Oh, and that is everything falling on the floor number one number two go to the deck you're most drawn to and as you're drawn to that deck i want you to just think about your person got it the person you want to know about and I feel I want to feel you push that energy into the deck give it a good push okay let's go deck number one so hello 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 if you just tapped in tuned in turned on and you want to know the public service announcements go back to the start we're going back to the start who sang that I just heard that really clearly in my right ear so let's have a look what is your person's early morning thoughts about you now it's quite interesting because as I'm just going into the energy, I seem to have quite a, a, a biblical energy around me at the moment. I just got the song or the hymn, All Things Bright and Beautiful. So when we're looking at what your person is thinking about you first thing in the morning, they're thinking all things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. So they are seeing you in this very beautiful energy, this very beautiful light. Um, there is this emotional connection between the two of you. And I'm going to, yeah, I am going to, I'm just going to think I'm, feel like I want to just get one more and then maybe call you a room um a witch's room so if you haven't looked at room binding you need to do some kind of magic on things you just let me know and we can cast those room binding spells for you because I do do some magic in if you need me we can do magic too so reading magic same day return on voice notes all right let's see what's going on in your world your person's early morning thoughts about you oh okay I'm going to start off with the room. 
and they start off with the rune. Your cards are really, really good. So this rune over here, this is an interconnection between the two of you. This talks of love, this talks of romance, this talks of relationships, it talks about the passion, it talks about the sexual energy, and it's very, very much like I am smitten with you, okay? And when I say smitten, because some people are like, what do you mean by smitten? I think it's like a bit of an old-fashioned word. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Um, and it means that someone is really kind of taken with you they have these emotions for you they think that you're beautiful they're really attracted to you they have this passionate energy going on with you and them okay so you have that energy coming forward now the cards that you've got over here are the, let's start off with the cups you got the knight of cups and the king of cups okay so knight of cups is your person talking about their romantic feelings towards you making moves towards you so first thing in the morning your cards are like i'm gonna i want to strengthen the relationship i want to build the relationship i want this relationship to grow i have a very strong love for you i have a very strong love for you um and I want to see what happens. I want to see what happens. Now, quite interestingly over here, we have the cards have got quite a bit of drink on them. They've got a little bit of alcohol. So it's possible that you might hear from your person in the early hours of the morning. So when we're talking about early morning thoughts, if you are waiting for those drunken texts, this is your indicator to say you are going to potentially be getting them. So drunken messages coming through from your person, emotional messages coming through from your person, your person expressing their feelings for you, wanting the connection to grow, wanting the connection to build very strong emotional energy coming up over here very water orientated um as you know i am fully pagan i look even more pagan with the brunette hair um water always symbolizes our emotions okay so you're working with a very emotional energy with your person they are hook lined and sinkered spirit saying to me spirit being loved ones help us and guides in the right ear your higher vibrational guides okay so ascended masters archangels etc goddess in the right ear love energy OK, so you can expect in the early morning hours drunken text messages on how much they love you. Normal messages if they don't drink or they're teetotal on how much they love you. Wanting to communicate about their emotions or wanting to communicate about their feelings and kind of giving you a lot of love. OK, you might find on occasions you're getting a little bit of love bombing. Just be prepared. Now, the other two cards that came out over here were the two of pence and strength. OK, so on one side of things, we have this really positive love energy. On the other side of things, you might feel like on occasions you're pulling teeth. I think that's the right word. Pulling teeth because it gets a little bit. They, they love bomb you, give you everything you want and then they withdraw. And then they give you everything you want and then they withdraw. So you have that energy coming up over here. OK, there is they when they're in this mood or perhaps once the drinks took them they will give you those emotional side of things then when they wake up and they're like oh god i shouldn't have said that you have that kind of embarrassment you know we've all been there we've all sent a drunken text that embarrassment like that oh shit i shouldn't have done that um, and this is when they are likely to withdraw and pull back and then they go in this kind of oh well you know what i'm just gonna keep balanced on it let's go see what happens um i've probably been hurt in the past which is why strength is coming up you know i've been dirtied <laughs> i've been dirtied in the past just because it's got the soap on it i need to cleanse okay so they're probably feeling this um either embarrassment like i said or this you know i've been hurt in the past i want to just cleanse myself free i'm just going to keep balanced on everything and just wait and see what happens between us so your person's early morning thoughts about you in summary in summary they have a lot of emotions there is a lot of love there are messages of love coming through there is a love relationship here there is a love connection be prepared for drunken text messages and then potentially them pulling back a little bit as they balance it all out and feel like they've made a bit of a fool of themselves if they've been drunk if they haven't been drunk they just might withdraw because they feel a bit vulnerable and that is their early morning and really, really early morning, <laughs> early morning, and really, really early morning in that alcohol mood, um, communication with you what they want. Okay, so if you uh, need me, you can just drop me a message. I'll put all the deets in the description for you. Like I said, go check out the podcast as well for your free weekly reading. Um, and I have same day return on voice note readings today. They're only ten pound a question, ten GBP. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat. If you want your answer today, I can do that for you. Okay, and that's deck number one. Okay, let's shoot over to cleanse the energy a little bit to deck number two. Hi, 
guys um so if you just tapped in tuned in turned on yes i have gone back to brunette you guys have never seen me brunette on this channel but i was brunette all my life um apart from the last 12 years when i was pinks and blondes and purples and every color under the sun so what we're doing today is their early morning thoughts about you the person you want to know about their thoughts i'm going to start off by pulling you a witch's room because this is where i feel channeled to do it okay so we have the sun coming up as the witch's room. Now this talks of happy outcomes, this talks of joy, this talks of a masculine energy. Remember we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but this will be the person you're inquiring about. The masculine en energy, new enterprises, spirit is saying, new enterprises, there's new endeavours, there's new things happening around the two of you, okay? So let's just have a look at your cards. cards. So I'm just going to get into you and your person's energy, which is the collective that's how collective readings work like how we worked out the average at school and i'm just going to get four cards because i got four on the last deck and they feel that four is the way forward you got strength as well i don't know one had strength doesn't surprise me sometimes your energies really link in with deck number one and deck number two i know some of you watch both decks so that could be why three okay and let's get one more Right, your person has most likely taken a step back from this situation and you are going to be feeling like you've got whiplash, you've got a mucky head, you don't really know what's going on and you're going to feel spirit saying that you're in a bit of a spin, okay, so you might feel like you're chasing your tail with the connection. You could be reaching out to them, not getting much back, they could have vanished into the sunset. Either way, there is this kind of icky thing going on between the two of you and your person is having a little bit of a panic and a little bit of a freak out now why they are having a panic and a freak out is because they aren't ready to give you the levels of commitment that you want and this is where this new enterprise energy is coming in okay so your person might be quite focused on their own life at the moment they might be quite focused on their career what it is that they want to do with their life um so you have this energy coming up over here that they have kind of backed away from the situation. We've got the eight of cups to show that, right? They've took a step back from the situation and you guys are going to, you're not feeling like you've had any answers or anything like that. Now, what I want to make clear to you, because you've got death as well, is that your person is running away from the situation at the moment. They are hiding from it. They are hiding from it. But Spirit's saying to me really clearly, there's only a certain amount of time you can hide for before things come around and they're, they're saying bite you in the ass. They're literally saying that. So your person is avoiding the situation at the moment. And when we're looking for these early morning thoughts about you, there is this process of avoidance. Like, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to pretend that it isn't happening. I'm focused on myself and focus on my careers or my family or yada, yada, yada. Okay, so at the moment, they are kind of peekaboo and they're doing a hiding thing and with spirit saying kind of peekaboo um <laughs> peekaboo um it looks like they are watching you still okay so even if they have run away from the situation or it's gone tits up as we say in england they are still watching your social media they are still checking in on you just to see what you're doing okay so they've run away for the time being but the bot is they're still keeping tabs on you now the other two cards you got was the ace of wands and strength so these talking about new beginnings kind of coming up for you and for your person and when we're looking at their early morning thoughts for you this is again saying about them following their passions they're really focusing on themselves at the moment they're avoiding the situation with you um they haven't got the courage to tackle it okay so something has happened within this connection that has made your person have a oh uh, a freak out, a panic and vanish. They're just like, I can't do this. I can't do this. Nothing like a dramatic person is that. <laughs> speaking, speaking about it, like, you know, like me. I can't do this. I am out. That's what your person's kind of doing at the moment, but it's short, it's short lived. Okay, so, you know, that saying like, let them go, they'll wander back. It's all that kind of jazz. That's basically what's happening with you and your person. So their early morning thoughts about it was like, I, at the moment, I have made the right choice. It's best for me to hide from this situation because I can't quite tackle it at the moment and I don't know what to do. So I'm going to run away, focus on myself, focus on my career, focus on studying, focus on building my empire. And then maybe I'll come back in the future. And that is what your person thoughts about you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull one or two or potentially three cards for that future energy between the two of you. Because we know that's where their thoughts are at the moment. So let's just go into the future energy of you guys. 
and I have three cards for the future energy of them. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And one more. Okay, so first of all, your person will carry on having a bit of a breather. All right, so you, if you're looking for contact, it doesn't look like it is right now. So you're going to have a little bit of a patience, perseverance kind of weight on your hands. But once they realise that they're fed up and lonely and they want to speak to you and they're like ready to re-communicate with you, you have messages coming through with the Page of Cups. And it's going to be messages that are more heartfelt. They'll probably say, I'm sorry for my actions. I'm sorry for how I handled it. I just had a little paddy wag and I ran away because I just couldn't face it at this moment in time. So there is communication coming back in with you guys once your person is ready to accept that they have handled the situation wrong. So this just needs a little bit of time, a little bit of space um and like i said you know let them wander and they'll, they'll they'll kind of bounce back when the time is right okay so if you want to look at that another individual reading personal readings just give me a shout i do same day return on readings at the moment uh, for voice note readings on instagram and facebook they're only 10 pound per question okay so if you want to know what they're going to do where they're going to go what their emotions are what they're thinking what they're feeling what happens next we can do all of that and um, 10 pound each question okay uh, other things just to tell you quickly go check out the podcast if you haven't at mystical Moonday musings it's on um youtube but it's also on all the podcasts spotify apple podcasts all that kind of stuff amazon i think it's on as well we also have a website which i'll link in the description too so you can go and listen to that and if you need me for video readings i do have spaces available in the coming week coming week yeah next week i have spaces okay guys i love you lots um i will speak to you soon thanks for supporting my brunette choices really embracing the more shadow side for winter for sewing and for everything in between being a double world walker um it's kind of nice to go back to my roots and go a little bit a little bit darker um with the hair color i kind of like it i think got took some it's taking some getting used to it, like looking in the mirror but then i added like my colors back in it yesterday and i was like yeah Lots of love, guys. Ciao.